Whenever Lois interviewed people about Della, they would say she was tall. Well, she was handsome. In her youth, Della May was a handsome woman. Her style was dressy. She had a job in town. She drove a horse and buggy to and from her home, which was also intimate. Now, I heard it was an unfortunate love affair that brought her back to the farm. Stella, who was the older sister, she became the man, as it were. That's what they, a lot of people called her. Oh, she was the man of the farm. With their philosophy that we fill in the blank between ourselves and our characters with aspects of our own lives, they concluded, no doubt correctly, that Della was a lesbian. My family used to say, oh, we think she went out was in love once, but she was disappointed in love, and that she was so disappointed in love she had to go off somewhere to, a, you know, warm springs and recover and almost had a nervous breakdown. Thinking about Della's character, I was moved by the idea of a woman in the 1800s in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia who was lesbian and didn't even have a vocabulary for her feelings and her desires. That's familiar narrative for those of us who uh, have had to come out in difficult circumstances. So I think I just thought that fire in her pocket was a beautiful metaphor. I don't think there were any like leather bars or gay bars in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia in 1860 that Della could have gone to. And I wrote a monologue for her that honored the grief and yearning of a woman with desires for which there was no language.